Being happy for other people is something that is nearly impossible to do if you are also jealous of them or of their achievement. I'm going to be sharing with you four tips to help you ditch that jealousy and in return be happy for others. Before I share these tips with you, consider subscribing and hitting that bell for more valuable mindset tips every Tuesday. You are not mean and you are also not alone when it comes to struggling with being happy for other people. I have had my fair share of jealousy destroying my happiness for others, which I've thankfully been able to work through. Now I can not only be genuinely happy for others, but I can also ditch that jealousy. Now I want to share all of it with you for your chance to work through it and obtain that as well. No one wants to be unhappy and jealous or any of it. So let's flip it all around and dive into those four tips. Number one, identify why you feel jealous. What are your insecurities and fears and how are they present in any situation where you feel jealous of others? When you know why, it's easier to work through. It doesn't make working through it easy, but it makes it easier because you're now understanding the root of the problem, which then can allow you to come up with ways to then fix the problem. It's hard to solve any situation long-term when you aren't addressing the root of the problem. If you don't know what is causing something, it's impossible to take care of it for good. Number two, once you've learned why you tend to feel jealous towards others, start separating that insecurity or fear from the situation. Usually it's feared that someone's success means that we don't have any success of our own or that any success that we did have suddenly isn't as significant. But someone else's success does not take away your success and it is not confirmation of your fears or your insecurities. Separate your fears, your insecurities, and yourself from the situation and leave just your happiness for the other person. I'm not saying to discredit the way that you feel because your fears and insecurities need recognized and addressed, but they do not need to influence the way that you react or feel in any situation. Comment down below a smiley face emoji if you're still with me. Number three, learn to be okay with other people. Number three, Learn to be okay with other people succeeding. I know, I know, chill. This sounds a lot like being happy for other people. So why would I include this tip among the other tips on how to do just that? It's like using a word that you need to find in the definition of another word. Chill, it's different. Being happy for others is an emotion you feel towards other people. Being okay with other people succeeding is how you feel for and about yourself. You can fake being happy for other people, but you cannot fake truly and genuinely being okay with it. To work towards being okay with other people succeeding, you need to work on the way that you view yourself. You need to know your worth, which I have the perfect video for you. Go check it out. It's also linked in the description if you want to finish this video first, which I highly recommend because there's more tips. Number four, put an end to comparing yourself and your journey to someone else and their journey. I cannot express enough how important it is that you do not compare yourself to other people. Comparison will always lead to jealousy, it will always lead to hate, it will always lead to you not being able to be happy for others and also not being happy with yourself. Check out this video for more tips on how to stop comparing yourself to others. In the description, I have a link for you to click on that will lead you to a document where you will find a list of resources that I have made for you to further help you be happy for others and ditch jealousy once and for all. It's in the description down below, so go check it out. Thanks so much for watching and hearing these four tips on how to be happy for others and ditch jealousy. Give it a like if you found it to be helpful, as well as subscribe and hit that bell for more Mindset Matters discussions every single Tuesday. Hey, once you've hit like and subscribe, check out these other videos I've provided here for you to further keep that mind in check. I'll see you in the next video.